You've talked a lot about re re-imaging the uh, Republican Party and the GOP, uh, putting a different face on the party for, for people that may have been turned off by it in the past. Is this issue an example of something that reaches out to people who may not traditionally agree with Republicans? I think so. And in fact, I think we're in the process of the parties actually switching places. I think the Democrats are going to become and have become a party that believes more strongly in being involved in war. And they're going to be Republicans like myself who believe in a less aggressive foreign policy. I think that's going to attract moderates and independents and people who want a more reasoned and more rational foreign policy. So yeah, there are people on the Democrat side. Hillary Clinton, for example, is one of the most eager Democrats for war. She's been the one beating the drums to get involved in Syria. So I think when you see that, you may actually have a different scenario than we once had, and maybe the Republican Party will be full of leaders who are for a more restrained foreign policy. Senator Paul, thanks for your time. Thank you.